Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Tech and Tips with King. In this video, I am going to show how you can run Windows 8.164 bit in your Android using Limbo PC Emulator. So let's get into the video. There are a lot of videos on my YouTube channel that I have shown how you can run Windows, the different different versions of the Windows like Windows XP, Windows 2000, or Windows 95, Windows 98. Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows 8, Windows 10, Windows 11 also the latest version Windows level I've run in my Android phone. So this is the another video on Windows. In this video I am going to show how you can run Windows 8.164 bit version in your Android phone and in this Windows the internet is perfectly working that's why I am making this video. So there are a lot of videos on my YouTube channel that I've shown the Windows 8 windows 8 with internet working windows 8.1 and this is the windows 8.164 bit version this windows is supported by internet and you can also install softwares in this windows 8.164 bit version so before if you want to run windows 8 you need to download an application called limbo pc emulator so there are a lot of lot of videos on my youtube channel that i am showing how you can run windows or linux or mac os in my previous video i have shown how you can run mac os that also perfectly working in your android phone so limbo pc emulator is an application to run any pc uh, os like uh, windows or linux in your android so make sure to download so let me just give you a brief quick review of this application so this is the limbo pc emulator and i'm using the latest version which is 6.0.1 the downloading in the description so as you can see this is the uh, limbo pc emulator application while using this application you can run any os uh, which is uh, like uh, windows linux mac os and there are a lot of videos on my youtube channel you can check out my previous videos so there on also there are a lot of upcoming videos that i'm going to show how you can run windows in your android and this is the another uh, limbo emulator and there is another em emulator which is botch pc emulator i've also make a lot of videos on my youtube channel so there are two emulators where we can run windows and i'm doing more research uh, finding out there are uh, more lim emulators so we can run uh, more windows or other things also so and if you want to run any pc software there is a separate uh, emulator which is exagir to run windows 8.164 bit uh, you have to download an application this is the application limbo pc emulator just now i've shown so this is the latest version make sure you are downloading the latest version uh, some of my subscribers or viewers getting problem that uh, there are some problems in this uh, limbo and they are getting some issues so i recommend you to uh, use the latest version of the limbo pc emulator that i have provided the link in the description i did not provide the direct link of the download just i have provided the te telegram link of my telegram channel so first of all you have to click the link in the description you get to the telegram channel from gender telegram make sure you join the telegram channel for more upcoming updates in that telegram channel you can get the link uh, i am using shortener link to get some revenue as you all people know my channel is very small currently i am not getting much revenue for the revenue i am using the shortener links you have to just bypass the shortener link and you will get the link and i have provided the mega link and or google drive link so from you can uh, you won't get trouble at the directly download from there so you have to download the limbo pcm router application and second thing you have to download the windows 8.1 file as you can see this is the uh, windows 8.1 uh, x64 means this is the 64 bit and vhd file so at first it will be about 2 gb so make sure you have enough data to download this and after extracting it will be approx 3.11 gb so make sure you have space in your internal storage to download this and keep this in your uh, internal storage so as you can see this is my internal storage and this is the file now you have to enable the internet so just now turn on the wi-fi so as i mentioned earlier this uh, windows is supported by the internet so make sure you are uh, enabling internet before you booting up the windows and starting up the application so now let's uh, start the setup of this windows 8 and setting up in the limbo pc emulator application so after enabling uh, internet so you have to open the limbo pc emulator application and you have to click on the none you have to click on the new and you have to create the machine so i'm going to create the machine name windows uh, 8.1 uh 64 64-bit 64 so this is the machine i've created you can give any name so you have to click on the custom 
so now you have to get into the port you have to skip the user interface you don't need to do anything uh, if you in my upcoming video I uh, will make a video how you can do this settings VNC while using a VNC application you can do that so my upcoming video I try to show you have to skip this user interface part and get into the board and you have to click on the CPU model so you have to scroll down so there are a lot of CPUs over here you can select as a top up to you which uh, you have to select so here I'm going to select uh, code studio so I'm going to select the code studio and this code studio is uh, 64 bit so here you have a lot of for CPU models you can select Sandy Bridge, QM32, Phenom, Platinum, uh, Pentium, Sandy Bridge, Pentium 2, Pentium 3. So there are a lot of CPUs you can select. So I'm going to select Code Studio because this is the Windows 8.1. So this is working perfectly for my. If you doesn't, it doesn't work for you, you can change the CPU model. Now you have to get into the CPU cores. You have to select for best suitable for this Windows and for Android phone. So now RAM, uh, you can select as much as possible, but I'm going to select about uh, 2 GB of RAM. Uh, it is suitable for this Windows. You can increase the RAM or decrease the RAM. It's up to you. If it doesn't, it's not working, you can decrease the RAM. So here you have to enable MTTCG and you have to uncheck the DABLE TSC. So this is the option doesn't work for many people. So make sure you're using the latest version of your Limbo PCM Emulator application. You have to enable this M3DCG and you have to uncheck the Disable TSC. So we have done all the settings in the board. You have to get into the disk. You have to select the disk A. You have to click on the open. You have to open files and you have to locate the Windows 8.1 VSD file which you have downloaded. So you have to click here. And I forget to mention this is the Windows uh, the downloading in the description. As I mentioned earlier, I uh, did not provide the direct link. I have provided the Telegram channel link. From there, you get the this Windows 8.1 link. So you have to download this uh, file VSD file the downloading in the description. So you have to select it. We have done with the disk. You have to scroll down. You have to get on the boot. You have to select boot from hard disk graphics you have to skip this part and the audio audio is perfectly working here so we don't know which driver it is supported so let me just click on the all as i mentioned earlier this uh, window is supported by the internet so make sure you are selecting this uh, network card you have to click on the network as a user network card you have to select rtl8139 so this is the uh, network you have to, you have to select so we have done all the settings so before booting up let me just um, turn on the screen rotation and turn my android phone to get the better view and for the better understanding so as you can see just now i've turned my android phone to get the better view so now i have done all the settings so make sure you have connected with the internet mobile data or wi-fi so after doing all the settings selecting the windows vsd file you have to just click on the play button after clicking play button the screen goes black and it will showing boot from hard disk it means the VSD file is supported by the Limbo. Here, if a Limbo PC crashed, it means the file is not supported and you have to change the settings. Or if you're getting any problem, trouble, it will show doesn't support them. So that may be a problem in the VSD file or ISO file. So if you're getting any problem, uh, comment down below, I will help, help you. So as you can see uh, in the screen, the a windows 8.1 uh, logo has been appeared so this is the booting up screen soon uh, the booting will be start so it will going to take some time so i let me just uh, keep it like this and uh, we have to wait till, so windows 8.1 fully booted as you can see in the screen finally the windows 8.164 bit has been successfully booted in my android phone and it will take in about few minutes to boot uh, but uh, it will can boot very fast uh, depend on your smartphone so as you can see if more the 
mouse cursor doesn't work you have to just zoom in in the screen and it will appear as you can see so let me just show you this so this is the uh, limbo pc emulator from here you can select uh, the volume so this is the limbo i'm running over here so now let's uh, open the desktop of this windows 8.1 So as you can see in the screen, this is the desktop of this Windows uh, 8.164-bit version. So let me just show you. As I mentioned earlier, the internet is uh, connected with this Windows. As you can see, it will showing the drivers. As you can see in the screen, the driver is detected. The internet driver is detected by it. So the internet is going to work. So while using the volume buttons. You can get the more option of the desktop. So just now I've clicked the volume down button. So and let me just tell you this is the our Russian version, and this is the language is in the Russian, but you can change the language into English. So th there is a different procedure for that. If you want to change the language, let me know in the comments. I try to make a separate video for my members. So soon I'm going to add membership button on my YouTube channel. So from you can join, get the uh, membership of my YouTube channel. For the members of my YouTube channel, I'm going to make a separate and very important videos for them to show. So if you want to join, uh, you can join. Soon I'm going to enable the button of the membership and soon I'm going to enable the super thanks button. So make sure you support to me. As you all people know, uh, my YouTube channel is very small. So the revenue is almost like nothing so i need your help so that's why i'm i'm enabling the button of the membership and the super thanks so make sure you support from there so this windows is in the russian language if you want to change there is a separate tutorial so you can change the language of this windows into english or any other language if you want so that is a different procedure i make a video for my members only so make sure you join the membership of my uh, youtube channel so let me just show you the properties of this windows 8 as i mentioned earlier uh, the internet is perfectly working so soon i'm going to show show it so just now i've clicked the properties and there are a lot of upcoming videos on my youtube channels the next video will be on the linux and after that the video will be windows 10 with the another version the windows 11 with the another version so as you can see this is the uh, windows 8 in the russian language but soon i'm going to make a video on tutorial for the members only so as i mentioned earlier this is the windows 8.1 so as you can see in the screen this is the windows 8.1 and we have selected the intel core studio and this is the 64 bit uh, version of the windows 8.1 so let me just close so just now i've shown the properties and if you select the different processor it will show here so this is the properties of the pc let me just close and the most important thing i'm going to show you uh, the internet so just now the, so there is no preloaded other browser so this is the internet explorer of this windows so if you want to know how you can install any other browser like firefox chrome uh, let me know in the comments i make a video uh, there is a video on my youtube channel with uh, windows xp i have shown how you can install other software in the windows so you can check out my previous video and the videos on other windows with installing software also coming so subscribe to my channel for more videos upcoming videos so you doesn't didn't miss so let me just show you the internet is working or not just i'm going to open the google search engine so here it is www.google.com so as you can see in the screen the google search engine has been appear on the screen as you can see it means the internet is perfectly working but it's slow at the moment so i'm going to close this internet explorer but the internet is perfectly working i've checked uh, the Internet Access Pro is not working properly but the internet is perfectly working as you can see the Google search engine has been appear in the screen you can install the Chrome browser if you want 
and if you want to know how subscribe to my channel there is a separate video coming for my members and make sure to join my channel as a membership soon i'm going to provide the button of the membership and as you can see it's still loading so let me just close this creep windows explorer it's not working currently so let me just close it As you can see just now I've closed the Internet Explorer but the Internet is perfectly working so let's just uh, so let's see the how many preloaded softwares are this so let's see how many preloaded softwares are there in this Windows 8.164 bit version so here as you can see this is the interface of this Windows 8.1 and this is in the Russian language so as you can see internet explorer sky driver so as you can see uh, there are a lot of preloaded windows softwares over here every software is perfectly working the speed of this windows 8.1 depend on your smartphone specifications if you have a high in phone you will get a better speed so still this windows is a very fast to use so as you can see so let me just show you the file explorer so at first it will take going to take some time for the load for very first time but after slowly you will use while time it will get very fast so as you can see it having about 59 GB space so you can install a lot of softwares so soon I'm going to make a video on it so as you can see this is the Windows 8.164 bit perfectly working and the internet is also working so this Windows is fast and very good to use so as you can see this is the Windows 8.1 perfectly working in Android so that's it for this video thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel like this video share this video if you have a problem let me know in the comments thank you